Hello, I'm live. <laughs> and um, I'm bringing you a new training, a new project that I have going. And um, I wanted to share some tips with you on how you can land uh, fundraisers, also how you can get your name out there with organizations. Um, and one event just leads to other events and other opportunities. So for those of you who are looking at doing events and you're doing events, make sure that you know that every event offers a new opportunity and that they are all good. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter the kind of event, it doesn't matter um, if, if it was a, a, a huge event or small events, it's just a combination of many, many events that's gonna give you the results that you're looking for. So good afternoon, everyone. And Lucy, Lucy's here. <laughs> Lucy is doing an amazing job with her journey. I'm very super, super proud of you, Lucy. So keep going. Keep going because the journey is long, but it's worth it. And, um, you know, we were all there. Don't try to rush success or results because when you are building a business, it takes time. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how experienced you are. It takes time and frust a lot of frustrations, and we all went through it. If you have the knowledge, if you have support, then it becomes easier. But, um, you know, you just have to be patient, okay? <laughs> and um, I wanted to express how excited I am about the new boss life. And I know that you guys are sharing um, all the videos and all the pictures. Make sure that you are active on your social media using the hashtag beauty boss and boss life because I'm telling you, all the hashtags go to one place. So if someone is looking for um, that particular hashtag and they see your post and they look at your profile and they see that you are, um, you know, they like your personality and they like how you work, then that person is gonna join you. So not, not everybody um, can relate to everybody. So make sure that your name is out there and that you're active posting on your pages, on your timeline, so that you know you can attract the people that are gonna join your team. You want people that can relate to you because those are the ones that you're gonna be able to work with. And the only way for people to pick who their leader is gonna be is when they see the person that you are, when they like what you share, and then they make the decision to join you. That connection, and that connection can, connection can only be seen by what you write on your social media. So make sure that you use your hashtags, that you create your own hashtags, that you build your excitement. Um, I'm very proud of our Avon Wings team because you guys are posting all the time. You're tagging me. I think that the whole world knows that you're Avon Wings. <laughs> so <laughs> congratulations. And for those of you also who are consistent, I, I really, really um, know that you're gonna succeed. The key is to be consistent. Yes, Karen, we all about relationships. I hear, Sophia says, I hear the word hashtag. What is it and how do you use it? Okay, hashtag, that's a great question. Um, hashtag is when you put the, uh, the number sign in front of a word. For example, hashtag is a number sign and then you do beauty boss all together. The a hashtag has to be all together. So if you do hashtag beauty, hashtag Avon, hashtag, hashtag boss life, 
um, or hashtag your name. <laughs> <laughs> so all of that is gonna go like if you click um, click on um, on your on the hashtag that, that I just thank you guys for all the hearts <laughs> if you click on the hashtag that I have um, that I have created yes there you go beauty boss Karen uh, shared it if you if you click on that, Sylvia, it will take you to a whole bunch of posts and pictures about Beauty Boss, and um, you you find your friends, you find people that you don't know. Um, so that's it. All goes to one room. Um, Sophia says, "I just made some baskets to sell at the farmers market." Great. No trying. That remove the word trying. Set a goal. If you're, you know, if you're doing ten baskets, how many baskets you're gonna sell a day? Make sure you set goals instead of saying, "I'm trying," because trying is not enough. People will see insecurity in trying. Just do it. Set a goal. Be, be, um, um you know, excited. People like excitement. They're going to relate to you when you're laughing and when you're, you know, when you're just uh, enjoying uh, what you do. Frustration is like, ooh, <laughs> not good. So welcome everybody. I see that there's a lot of my friends, Save on Wings, tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, yes, Selma, you're new, but you're going to be, you're in for a treat because we share a lot. Everybody, uh, whether you are in, in whoever's team, just make sure you follow um, everyone who's been in, who's been sharing, um, you know, who's been sharing all their success. You're not alone. Social media is huge. And when I started, there was no social media. So make sure that you look at the trainings at Avon University, that you follow whoever it is that, um, that you like and, and that you can relate to, and just learn from us because we all started just like you. Remember, you can't quit, okay? <laughs> yes, Lucy, no more trying. <laughs> um, uh, how this my, <laughs> um, well, Welcome everybody. I'm I'm going to start the training, but I wanted to I wanted to show you the uh, Boss Life advertisement and we we were featured in uh, Vanidades magazine in Spanish and um there's going to be other publications for Boss Life uh, parenting magazine and um, Siempre Mujer in Spanish. There's uh, going to be local newspaper interviews. This is going to be huge, you guys. So make sure that you are promoting Boss Life everywhere you go, your, that your hashtags are everywhere because you want to make some noise. And um, the videos on Boss Life, the, um, the video with the uh, song already has over um, almost 2 million views. That's huge, 2 million uh, views. So you guys are doing an extraordinary job, um, you know, sharing it and, and posting, every, posting it everywhere. So make sure that you continue to do that. Um, and, and we use when when you know when we see these kind of advertisements, um, you know we use it for recruiting. Uh, the company is the only company that I see out there that gives a true testimonial from representatives. It's, it's not a model that yes they pay for models, but they also um, give the uh, representatives the opportunity to share their story and you know different people can relate to different stories so we had the story like carlos and i husband and wife then georgiana um she's a, a young girl um and then lydia she has 
she's there with her family, her husband, and, and her kids. So there's different stories that can be shared according to the person that you are um, prospecting or, or you're reaching out. If it's a, a mother with kids, then you share that the video related to it. Uh, but you can also share the general video and use a lots of lots of hashtags because this campaign just started about a month ago and it's exploding uh, social media everywhere. Another announcement that I want to tell you is to please um, go to the Miami Cell Center for your Avon Prima um, because you get free shipping, you your shipping gets to your house in, um, in, in the, the next day if you do it in the morning, and you also get $100 in products from Prima, from the Prima Level 1. Make sure that you're using the uh, Miami Cell Center and, um, and that you are... Um, you're not just buying a whole bunch of inventory, just get level one, sell it, sell your six sets, make your $90, and then um, order it again. And let me tell you, if you go to the rewards um, on, the, on, the, um, on your Avon.com, uh, uh, 1,600 points, okay? 1,600 points will give you a um a kindle so if you don't have a tablet and and i saw also different tablets there where you can do your social media if you don't have a tablet or you don't have an ipad um you know when you go for the second level you have an opportunity to buy um you know to use your points to get your tablet your kindle it's with 1500 points so check it out it's actually 1600 points but you know you probably already have points there accumulated so check it out on the rewards headquarters um, and then you get to president's club make sure you set your goal what level of president's club you want to get to this is a goal that you don't want to uh, bypass um, you can do it you guys just make sure that you're active and that you're focusing on how many products you have to um, you know you have to sell in order for you to get to your goal and um, remember with level one you have for every six sets that you sell you earn ninety dollars so how many ninety dollars are you going to earn how many level ones will you sell? Focus on the product and, and have your friends help you. Let them know about your goal. Give them, um, give them the, the, the information for every five collection that they sell. Give them a collection free. And, um, and, and be creative. Be creative. Make sure that, that you're active in the field. Make sure that you're doing uh, whatever it is that it takes to meet your goal. No trying. Go for it. Set goals. Uh, that's what I do. So I'm really excited about this new opportunity that I want to talk to you about. And um, I wanted to let you know that there's different ways that you can advertise your business. I love community work. Um, I'm big on fundraisers. I absolutely love fundraisers. We're very active um, in the community and we're always um, you know, looking for an opportunity to, to help um, an organization, to help a person. So when, when you have that in mind, opportunities come you know, by itself. And I do every time that I um, that I see um, somebody that um, you know that has either an organization or is part of an organization, then I uh, make sure that I approach them with a fundraising opportunity. And this this time we were at the market on on Wednesday, and we were approached. Um, by one by by a person she she's from a church and they were having a fundraiser and and um 
No, she invited us to attend. Uh, we're taking our magic bus. And, um, you know, with the conversation, we started having a conversation. And I let her know we do a lot of fundraisers for the community. We like to help. And uh, we're very active. We'll be more than happy to do that. Um, uh, we donate baskets when there's a fundraiser where, you know, people can come and um, just donate any kind of amount and all the proceeds go to the, the church. And then at the end, they have the choice and either to donate the basket themselves or we can, um, uh, to raffle the basket, we give it to them and then they do the raffle. We give them the list, like we create a, um, um, a list where uh, they, you know, whoever comes to a table, they write their name, their information, phone number, address, and then right next to it, how much money they donated towards the raffle. You can sell the tickets. The tickets, we sell them for a dollar. However, they can donate any amount of money that they want. And then at the end of the event, we hand them out this list so that they can have the option of contacting all the participants in that fundraiser. And then they uh, send them a thank you note or um, you know, or, or reaching out to them, saying thank you, and, and of course do, to do the raffle with the basket. And um, you know, she she liked the idea. We have done that before in the past, and we have been very successful doing that. We also sell baskets, and we donate a portion of those sales to the organization when we're doing a fundraiser. So that's what fundraising with baskets is all about. And we have been doing it for a while. It's a way to help the communities, a way to uh, promote your business and, um, you know, and get your name out there, which is important. So this is, um, okay, so later on then she said, um, after this fundraiser, we committed for Sunday, for Sunday, yes, for, for Saturday, for Saturday of next week, that's, that's when we're doing the event. And, uh, and then I asked her, do you do anything else with, you know, with the, um, the congregation? And she said, well, we have, um, you know, especially now for the holidays. So the key is that if you're focused on what it is that you do, you're going to ask the right questions. That's why you must, you have to make sure that you have your priorities and your goals, um, you know, mentally clear so that when you see opportunity that you're able to you know to go to the point and and just say okay this is what we do this is you know what i would like to do this is how i can help you so she said that um they have a um, um christmas party and that they take donations so i said um great if I donate, you know, if I donate a basket to you, would you give out my information to let everyone know that I'm a local Avon representative and that I would love to service them uh, by taking orders and, um, you know, by um, showing them the products? And she said, yes, uh, that would be great. So then I asked her how many, how many people um, you know, are there, will be there. And she says 70. So I plan to take a hundred uh, of my bombitas. This is the basket that I am donating. Okay. It has, and, and you guys can do whatever amount you want. Um, this one has um, over a hundred dollars in products. And uh, the reason why I wanted to do that, it was because I wanted to give a nice gift. This is something new. Um, it's a new opportunity, a new organization. It's a new church. And I want to make sure that they're excited about, about me coming to, to them to service them with, um, you know, with my Avon uh, 
products and opportunity. So I'm making bombitas, 100 bombitas, uh, and um, I need more, this not 100 here. So um, I'm gonna make 100 bombitas, and then what I did, I, um, I'm using this, and you can, you can find these, I think it's um, three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I put my business card here, and also my business card here, and um, and then I'm giving her this container with a hundred bombitas, and um, you can do your bombitas any any uh, with any samples. I put one sample, my business card, fundraising flyer, uh, the um, earnings opportunity, and one sample, and that's what I'm planning to do. And um, you know, it's about being creative. Um, with with the baskets, we have been able to, um, you know, reach out to organizations, set up a table um, at you know at the church or any local group. It builds your, you know, it builds trust because if they call you. Um, you know, if you go there and then you're not a member of the church, it's really difficult to get in with a fundraiser. Uh, so my suggestion is that first you offer a service. You offer a service and you can also do it. I'm going to give you different organizations where you can reach out. The, um, at schools, you can do the uh, PTO. For the holidays, there's a lot of opportunities, you guys, to you know, to do fundraising with baskets, to get into an organization, so you can have your foot in the door, and they can see that you are well respected, that you're serious, and they will give you the okay to do a fundraiser um, with their organization. So that's that's my. Uh, you know, that's my idea. That's what I have been working on with our team. That is um, something that, that I have put into action several times, and I love it because there's no stress. You don't have to, um, you know, you don't, if you're new at fundraising, you don't have to reinvent not you know, knowing what it is that you're doing. Just start with baskets, with organizations. Get your foot in the organization, and then you'll be able to land many more fundraisers. So do table events um, with baskets. Take your information, your bombitas, and then that way you'll be able to, um, you know, to create uh, a rapport at that organization. Another thing that we do... And uh, this Sunday, uh, we were doing a fundraiser with one of, of our team members. And um, there's, there's different um, groups, team, teams, uh, sports teams. So we're doing it with Skin So Soft. And as you know, the Skin So Soft is $27 regular price. So what we're doing is... Uh, creating our own fundraiser with Skin So Soft by just printing out a flyer so that people can purchase it. And we let them know that the organization earns $13 for each sale of the bath oil, the Skin So Soft. That's what we're doing. And we're also, it's a fundraiser where it's gonna be a, a big event so we want to make sure that if it's that that's an outdoor event that we use outdoor products and we're going to have I'm going to post the uh, basket that I'm doing uh for uh, as donation for this fundraiser it's going to be an outdoor basket with skin so soft uh with daily needs it's going to be a fun basket so people that approach the table have the choice of either donating to the organization, to the groups, or uh, purchasing a bath oil at $27 so that the organization can, um, can make 50% of uh, the sale of the Skin So Soft. 
You're not going to lose any money there. Do your math. So you'll see that you're not at all using any money uh, from the sale of the Skin So Soft. Um, you're collecting $27 and you're giving the organization $13. Um, you're selling the bath oil for full at full price and then you're doing a basket so that they can donate so I hope um, This is clear to you. I Want to be able to make everything that I do duplicatable Not complicated because I know that if you're starting it can be frustrating when something is not going as planned so this is easy you guys just have your um you know have your tools ask around go to the church groups let them know that you want to help them by setting up a table so that you can do a fundraiser for them look at my videos on my avon wings channel and um, i have plenty of videos with fundraising with baskets i think it's much much easier um, to me, for someone who's starting to do a fundraising fundraiser with baskets, then um, you know to to go uh, you know full force with fundraiser. What I have seen in my group is that um, they're very afraid to do fundraisers. So with the baskets, is like um, you know there's no brainer. They can promote their business, they can donate a basket. It doesn't have to be that big of a basket, but if you can do the investment, um, you know, make a pretty basket and then have your bombitas so that they can distribute and they will do it because if you're donating um, an item to the church and you're offering them your service, they are going to, um, you know, count you in as the representative and if there's a local another uh, local representative um, there you know you don't want to take business away but you know what that might wake up that representative to let them know hey look I'm you know I'm a representative here so I'm gonna start doing something <laughs> so either way you're gonna help people and um, you know your information is gonna be out there just have fun with your business. Uh, do you have any questions, um, you guys? Thank you, Sylvia and Veronica. I see that Avon Wings is here, Georgiana. Thank you. And Maritza, yes, we just haven't, haven't been able to connect, but um, I'm going to send someone um, either to meet you somewhere or uh, we can meet up for coffee or something and sit down and catch up with good old times. <laughs> and thank you. I'm working on my baskets. I'm waiting for my shipment. I ordered mine at Red Fest on the road. Great. Thank you, Karen, for sharing. And um, so that's great. I hope all this was clear. I'm going to do the... Um, the training in Spanish next, so tune in. You're more than welcome to share our live videos. I'm also going, going to post them on our YouTube channel. Please, I want to share, I want you guys to share uh, your results. Make sure that you let us know how you're doing. Just snap a picture and say, Milagros, this worked. Um, help somebody build their confidence. We're all here to support each other. Our goal is to get our team uh, sales to $300,000 in campaign 26. So we have a lot of work to do where um, we, we have an average of 100,000 a campaign. So it's gonna be twice as much um, that we have to grow. Uh, you can do it, you guys. Just make sure that you set your goal whether whether it is, if you want to get to goal leader, how many how many people do you need on your team? And I always base my uh, my staff in uh, with an average order of hundred and fifty dollars. So if I need twenty thousand dollars to become a goal leader, for example, I'm I'm not a goal leader. 
Um, but I'm going to give you a level of, of an example. If you are becoming a goal leader, you need uh, $20,000 in sales. You need an average of 133 representatives in your team because that average is gonna give you the amount of sales that you need to become a gold leader. So if you have 80 representatives, you know how many more you have to grow. Um, and um, you know it all depends on how young your team is. However, your goal is all by how active you are, how many team members you're recruiting every campaign, and um, how much money does your team need to sell? So don't, don't think that um, your team is responsible for your success. You are responsible. Keep recruiting, keep, keep finding new team members. Your momentum is gonna start building as you start getting active with different avenues, social media, you know, field time. We have gotten away a lot from doing the field time and we must go back out there and have fun meeting people, connecting with people, showing the love, showing the, the Avon Boss Life campaign and generating leads out in the field, not only for sales, but also for recruiting. We're focusing on sales because of the holidays. This is the time where people buy a lot. And uh, as long as I continue to hear in my market that it's been so many years and so many months and so much time, I've never seen an Avon book, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep being active in my local market because I, I, I wanna make sure that, that everybody knows that Avon does exist everywhere they go so make sure that you dominate your local market that you are in control um, of your market and that you are working it with enthusiasm so that those customers will um, continue to buy from you um, and you're the avon lady uh, the, their local avon lady so thank you so much um, remember, focus on Prima, double dollars, get to President's Club, don't miss that opportunity. Work your fundraisers with baskets, it's the easiest way to increase your sales. You can have your own fundraisers with, with whatever product you choose. And if you have to watch that vid this video over and over again, make sure you take notes because I have shared with you a lot of information that's going to help you grow your business for the holiday season, not things that just pop up in my head because, because um, you know, for miracle, it's things that I actually do and actually work. So please make sure that you are active, okay? Um, so, Chaxi Daxi, te estoy viendo y a la vez. <laughs> Um, Jaxi, Daxi, uh, um, vamos a tenerlo en español próximamente. So, thank you. Bye.